was running far away Would I run off the world someday? Nobody knows, nobody even knows I was dancing in the rain I felt alive and I can't complain But no, take me home, take me Don't be surprised if one day I just... Smells like lemon grass and sleep. Dum, dum. She tastes like apple juice and peach. No. Knock yourself out. Welcome to my bookstore. This is Chamlin's Book Mart, located off of Roosevelt and Jacksonville, Florida. I've been coming here for literally as long as I can remember. You can buy all kinds of used or new books here, um, and it is huge. They have signage everywhere, so you can try and find your way out pretty quickly. But the best part about it was usually get, was usually getting lost, especially when you're a kid. <laughs> I'd been to libraries, but I'd never been somewhere like this. I can vividly remember the first time I ever came here, and I never remember seeing so many books. It's genuinely one of my favorite places to come um, and sort through books. Everything smells old. Even if it's new, it still smells old. So, here's my little slice of heaven, I guess. And then I found me a lover who could play the bass. He's kind of quiet, but his body ain't. Spent the days dreaming and the nights awake. Do this bookstore is aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Check out the photos. This is the largest bookstore in Michigan, John King Used and Rare Books. It's located in Detroit. It used to be an old glove factory, then in 1938 John King bought it. The four-story building now houses over one million books. There are hundreds of first editions and signed copies. Walk with me through England's most beautiful bookshop. The bookshop is housed in Bradford's Victorian Gothic Wool Exchange building. It was built between 1864 and 1867. There's also a cafe upstairs so you can read with a cup of coffee.